Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out the newly released Samsung Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus. So I do have them in two different colors. I have the green for the Plus and the lavender for the S23. And I am super excited to check these out. So let's go ahead and get the price out of the way for these. They are... Uh, the S23 does go for $799 and then it does go up as you add more storage and same goes for the S23 Plus, it goes for $999 and then it does go up in price as you add more storage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open these up. So as you can see, the boxes are very simple and I have already unboxed the S23 Ultra so if you haven't checked that video out, you can check it out after this video and again, I've already talked about the boxes in that video. So. Let's go ahead and open these up, starting off with the S23 because I really want to see the lavender color. All right, so we have two pieces of tape right here. And this is the 128 gig version with eight gigabytes of RAM for the S23. And the S23 Plus is gonna be 256 with eight gigabytes of RAM as well. So they do both rock the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Samsung chipset, which is wonderful from what I've seen so far with the Geekbench scores from other people. It looks really nice and I feel like it's one of the best chipsets they've made so far. So the boxes, if I can get the S23 Plus to open up, are the same. They have the same content inside of it. So inside, very simple. You don't really get much inside of these. Here on the S23 Plus, we have our SIM ejection tool and then quick start guide plus our USB-C to USB-C charging cable. So very simple packaging, not really too much to it. I wish, you know, they keep taking out more and more, and I wish they at least kept the design of the box nice. I wish they added something else to it, but this year around, I don't really like how it looks, how the outside of the box looks, and so it is kind of disappointing to see uh, when you do pay this much for a phone. So let's go ahead and close this back up, place it back where it needs to be, and move the boxes out of the way. All right, so again, here is the S23 Plus in green. So let's go ahead and reveal that. Oh wow, this looks super nice. So this looks more like gray right now to me, but it does have a tint. Uh, it does have a hint of green on it, which is looking super nice and it just feels really nice in the hand. And then for the S23 right here in lavender, let's go ahead and open this one up in three, two, one. Wow, this is beautiful. So these colors, are looking pristine and I am really loving how these look. Especially the lavender, uh, this one right here is very appealing, it just looks really nice, the color is popping out really well. And then the green, you know, it's a little darker, it doesn't look exactly like green, it has a hint of it and it kind of looks like gray right now in the lighting conditions and it does look different in different lighting conditions. So let's gonna plop these to the side, go ahead and place these on here. All right, move this out of the way. And right away, just for comparison, I have my S23, S22 Plus right here. And so here is the S23 Plus right next to it. So as you can see, the camera lenses are different. So we don't have that uh, different lens style right there. We only have the lenses here. And then the sides, they do look a little thicker. Let's see. And they do feel a little better in the hand, which does feel really nice. And then overall, Basically, other than that, there really isn't much else to it. So our button placement is gonna be the same, no differences there. Uh, so mainly just the camera lenses and how they look. We do have some battery upgrades with these. So we do have a 4,700 milliamp hour battery in this one, which is higher than what we had on the S22 Plus, which is always good to know. So let's go ahead and turn these bad boys on. Starting with the S23 Plus. All right. Boom. Wow, this looks beautiful. And then moving on to the S23, which actually feels really nice in the hand. So it ha does have a 6.1 inch display, which is smaller than usual. But overall, I feel like that one feels the best in the hand. And just for comparison, if I can place what I need to place perfectly, just for comparison, here is the S23 Ultra in phantom black so you are able to get all these colors in any of the ones that you have so if you have the s23 ultra you can get the green you can get the lavender and there is also a cream which i don't have right now but again these do look super nice so we do have the 
6.5 inch display on this one right here and 6.1 inch display on the S23. They do have full HD plus displays and they are 120 hertz compatible. However, these only go down to 48 hertz. It is adaptive, unlike the S23 Ultra, which goes to one hertz uh, on the adaptive refresh rate. And so you are gonna be saving a lot more battery with the S23 Ultra on that hand. However, you do have the smaller displays on here and you do have full HD displays. But again, on the S23 Ultra, you can use full HD instead of quad HD. So overall, these are looking super nice and super clean. We do have a triple layer ca camera, a uh, triple layer camera cutout right here. So we do have a 3X uh, telephoto zoom and then we have our main camera. Plus we have our ultra wide camera. So they do, so they are in 12 megapixels. 50 megapixels and again in 12 megapixels and then we do also have our selfie cameras up here which are going to be 12 megapixels as well so overall these devices do look super nice and they do feel really nice in the hand i know they haven't changed too much especially with the ultra however they do look really clean and i feel like samsung has adopted this design but they are mainly going for the internal upgrades, which in my opinion doesn't really affect me too much. I really like a smooth phone and I would like a phone that would sustain a long time. So in this video, we will not be setting these devices up mainly because it is the same process as the S23 Ultra and I already do have a video for that. Right. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, I will not be setting these two phones up as I have already done it with the S23 Ultra and it is the same process with all of these devices. And so if you do want to check out the setup process and you do want to go through some of the settings, then you can check out the S23 Ultra unboxing video. So as always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps support the channel and see y'all in the next one.